Hugh Hefner, a true American icon, created an empire that was unrivaled. Although some of his bunnies may have gone rogue, it's because of the love and respect that we received from the man behind it all. The Rogue Bunny's mission is simple. 100 playmates taking control of their valuable IP while honoring Hef's iconic Playboy style and bringing that experience to our collectors. Like only we know how, because after all, we did learn from the best. Relive the stories from the most prominent celebrity home in history. From those of us that lived it, the employees that worked it, and the guests who loved it. And the, the mayhem continues. Okay, well, I'm Amber Campisi, Miss February 2005. And for the record, I am stating that I actually wore underwear today for this podcast <laughs> to sit on this couch. You're welcome, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rare occasion, but I did it just for you. <laughs> and this is how we begin Rogue Bunnies Mayhem. <laughs> I'm Scott Ramsey, your co-host. This man is... Brian O'Leary, Mr. Mayhem. Brian, you sound a little rough. Well, we had some fun, right, Jen? Oh. Of course, our lovely Jennifer Pershing. And, and Hi, that, it's me again. That heavy <laughs> size, Jennifer Pershing. Listen. Also wearing underwear, I assume. I, 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 ne well. uh, I should never assume. Sorry. <laughs> you should, one should never assume, but yes, I have underwear on. I, uh. I actually, I have some new underwear. It's nice, so I feel, feel nice and clean. It's beautiful. So... You ended up taking a room at the hotel last night, and you drove home. Well, no, okay, so, so that doesn't sound wrong. I drove home this morning. I got a room last night because Jen says, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And Jen never comes out here. I mean, not as often, like, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. And so it was like, you know, we're getting back together. It's like, oh, we're getting the band back together. We're having fun. And we're like, okay, we're hitting the bar. So we all went to dinner last night, which, by the way, the dinner was great. It was. Thank it you was. to our VIPs that came out. That meatloaf. was so cool. Very fun. I mean, I, I think that was such a fun experience because <laughs> yeah. we got to show others this is what we do. Yep. This is what, you know, you want to know what it's like. This is... You just get together with us, and we start laughing, and we start telling stories, and then we reminisce, and then we start sharing about our world. And I'm like, isn't this just exactly what Rogue Bunnies is? Yes. You know, Rogue Bunnies Mayhem, is the, the podcast, is sharing that with our with our listeners. But so Jen's like, are you going to do this? I'm like, I guess I'm getting a room. And that's what <laughs> there happened. You go. How comfortable was that bed, though? Oh. Yep. Yeah. It's like you roll into a cloud and How, you just fall asleep. Where do they get their pillows? Why are always hotel rooms the best pillows? My pillows at home suck. Did you stay here last night? Ever? I stayed in Venice Beach at a friend's house and um, I had the old dispensary uh, before. So I had some <laughs> THC chamomile tea and I slept like an angel. Oh, wow. <laughs> How are your pillows? My pillows were good. I had plenty of them, and I had the whole bed, and I rolled around. I and think he's talking about slept your diagonal and, Oh, these pillows. I love it where Scott went. That was great. I'm like, yeah. Well, I'm just They're comfortable to lay on, too. not well, lacking just, in pillows. That's as long as we sure. can roll around. You know what's fun last night is, is us just, again, reminiscing about the days at the mansion. And I know for us, you know, we've done it. We lived it. But I think being separated from it really made it like, holy crap, that happened? Yeah. I've been doing that. I've been having a lot of holy crap moments. Yep. I don't know if that sounded right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happens after morning coffee. Yeah. So, <laughs> but you know, do you yeah. ever like trip? Like you look, think back, I mean, you're, you're, look at Jen, we've talked about like life goes on. Yeah. You're married, children, Amber. You know? Well, knowing that we can't ever go back there also like uh, kicked it into a next yeah. level for me. Like even though we get to see each other and reminisce like in events like this, yeah. it's just we'll never go back to that mansion and we'll never experience that same thing ever, ever again, you which is just cool? like the nail in the coffin. Like, right? It's, man. It's like, really fun to watch movies and TV shows where they would film at the mansion. Oh, so yeah. There's the movie Hop. Oh, right? yes, the cartoon. What, so my kids watch that movie. I don't think I've seen them. No? And my kids don't know this this side of my life yet because they're young boys and we'll, I'm sure... Trust me, they'll discover it yes, soon. Yes, we'll, we'll have to cross that bridge <laughs> when we come to that's it. That's coming. I, my, my son was very sad that I was coming out here this weekend, but I was like, just imagine you haven't had a play date with your best friends in 10 years. It's like, a good way. I'm going to go have a play date. And they were like... Okay. I wish you weren't so excited about it, though. <laughs> oh, all right. But no, so my kids are watching Hop, and he hops up to the the talking rock, and oh it's Hef's voice, and my, my kids are like, who lives there? And I was like, 
bunnies. And they were like, really? I'm like, yes, kind of, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> bunnies, you know. But that's all we get now yeah. is what was filmed up there because now right. even today if we right. drove up there, it wouldn't look Oh, good. it's a trip, right? I know. It's so sad. I'm going to have to show my niece. She hasn't seen me on any of the Girls Next Door episodes or anything yet. But she did. She's seven now. And I think she came to my house when she was probably five or six. And she's kind of looking around. I have my framed centerfold in my kitchen because it's a kitchen scene. I'm wearing an apron. It was yeah. filmed to look like I was in my family's restaurant. And so she's kind of looking around and checking things out. And then she goes, Aunt Ambie, do you have boys here? And I'm like, oh, God, what did she see? <laughs> and I'm like, well, yes, sometimes I have friends that come over that are boys. And she goes... Well, um, do they go in your kitchen? And I was like, well, I mean, I wish they would cook for me, but usually not. <laughs> Why? And then she just goes, Ugh, and she points at my centerfold, and she goes, you have no clothes on, and boys see that? <laughs> <laughs> and you, and like, you say, if well, you only usually knew. usually friends that I know that were real close, so... <laughs> <laughs> the human body is nothing to be ashamed yeah, of. Yeah, I forgot that was in my kitchen when she came <laughs> but, but over. And then nudity you said, in the kitchen. Just don't Google me. <laughs> yes, I also forgot that when like construction people and the cable guy and all those kinds of people come, that that's hanging in my and kitchen. And you wonder why they always show yeah, up. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, face. why are they taking their time? <laughs> why are you having so many things done in your house where people like this are in your house all the time? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I've had the cable guy or anybody in you know, my house. You know, for you know how like we all get that endorphin rush. You know, they say from like social media, and you get a like, right? Yeah. You know, sometimes you need that little endorphin rush. You know what I mean? A little validation. I see Amber going, hmm, kink with a big like hammer smacking a freaking plumbing, you know, hose and going, I gotta call the plumber. <laughs> Oh, wow. Nice picture. Well, and they usually, like, they don't say anything. You notice it, and they're kind of like, okay. But then I also have pictures of, like, me at the mansion, me with the girls, half and I. And so eventually, sometimes they're like, do you know this man? And I'm like, well, yes, he was my boss. He's very sweet. And then I tell them all the stories. And, not all the stories, but it's pretty cool. You know, I definitely want to get into that. We're definitely going to be talking about the boss, you know. But let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Oh, it's going to get juicy, people. You're listening to Rogue Bunny's Mayhem. Victoria Fuller, Miss January 1996, here again reminding you to come join the party with me and my sexy bunny sisters. Join us at roguebunnies.com. Again, that's R-O-G-U-E-B-U-N-N-I-E-S.com. Rogue Bunnies Trading Card Pack Series 2, available now at roguebunnies.com. Come follow us down the true magical rabbit hole. You won't be disappointed. See you there. Welcome to the metaverse. Mimosas and mayhem. Come I, on. <laughs> oh, I like that. And we're back. Rogue Bunnies Mayhem. This is Jennifer Pershing. We're here with Amber Campisi. Hello, hello. And she has underwear on. I do. <laughs> you know, I like what Amber just said earlier. She just said, what did she say? Mimosas and mayhem? Mimosas and mayhem. That is what Perfect the Perfect mimosas. We do. You, I'll take another. This, this feels a little bit more fun and sunnish kind of vibe, right? Yes. Uh, yes. I mean, we're coming up mm -hmm. to the mansion and everybody's just getting their mimosas as they show up. Have that yep. chill after like crazy partying over oh, yeah. at the rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Trying to My tell stories. My favorite was... Um, Bloody Marys, and then I would hide in the van room and watch football on like fun on the sun Sundays. I just I would like go show my face and like I'm gonna go watch football in the van room, you know. I would usually park it in the pool on a float <laughs> somewhere. The best though, I was thinking about this the other day because somebody was talking about how we weren't always just running around naked at the mansion, but we did one. I don't know if you remember this, but one, it was a day after Midsummer's. And there were a lot of us playmates still there, and we did fun in the sun on the Sunday. And we were having way too much fun. There were tequila shots out by the pool. And then everyone was in for movie night, but we were still a bunch of us playmates out by the pool. So we decided to streak movie night. And we all <laughs> ran through the movie night, through the theater room, all of us naked. Jen Walcott was there. She'll remember. <laughs> Yes, and there was a big group of us, and half was just laughing like a little kid. Like, it was, so, like, everyone in the movie loved it. We just came running in and running out. <laughs> I can hear his laugh right now. Well, he, was, he didn't want he us to slip and fall. He had little it childlike was... laugh, you know what I mean? He really, I mean, if you want to talk about enjoying life, he enjoyed he life. He genuinely enjoyed, he enjoyed us. Yes. He Most liked definitely. it when we had a good experience. Oh, yes. 
and was always I, I my favorite was always when I lived at the bunny house and we would want to watch a movie in the movie room just like an off night and we'd call up you know can we borrow some movies you know and we would have the movie we wanted to watch, but then he would also come down with like five suggestions of the, you might want to consider these are great movies. Yes, <laughs> like give an example. Like what movie? Like would you uh, want to do? So I think it was like the Money Pit was what I wanted oh, to watch. Oh, okay, Tom Hanks. And then he brought down a he brought down a bunch. I can't remember what the other ones were, but I every week I wanted him to show Arsenic and Old Lace. He never ran that movie while I lived up there, but that I wanted that to be one of the old great, movies. Great movie. I love that movie so I'm much. Not familiar with? Oh, that. you have to watch it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not so familiar great. with it either. Oh, it's so great. It's just bizarre. It's a bizarre movie, but you laugh the whole time. But yeah, he just really he he wanted to see us have a good time. Speaking of good times, Amber. <laughs> again, I, I mentioned you know the boss passed in 2017. We're in 2023. Now it really hits. Like you know when you have a tragic moment in your life or a death in the family, it takes at least three years to, to even process in your brain that like that person's really gone. Because in your head, and you keep having this like, what? Really? And then you finally go, okay, I got to own this. And then it's that fourth year, that fifth year. Especially though you for know? you, because you knew him for so long. And oh, you saw him so say. consistently. You like, were we like, would come no. and you were... Well, we, we all as a staff went through depression. Uh, oh, I sure. still, to this day, talk to... I just got a text last night from Anthony and Dan Gibb. Yeah. Anthony oh, Gonzalez, Dan yes. Gibb, the butlers. Mm -hmm. We still keep in touch. DeAndre was here They yesterday. were here. DeAndre Jameson, we, yes. yes. DeAndre yep. Jameson family. came in last Kim year. Garrett's family. Here? Yes. He I mean, was just looking, and I'm like, I have underwear on. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's like really soaking in. It's like, wow. It almost seems surreal now. It is. Now, when we talk, right, and we get together with the butlers that we're talking inside, we're going... Did that really happen? It's like you kind of question it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, did we really do that? Do, do you find yourself doing yes, that? Yes. I'm like, I was allowed to, like, stay there for months on end, just in a bedroom. Like, I don't know. It's like you never think it's going to end. And when it does, yes, it's very surreal. Yeah. Like, you'll never drive back onto that property. You'll never go to the parties anymore. And it's sad, too, because that was, like, the hub for us. If yes. a girl came in, like, I would come in. And I knew if I flew in on a Friday, then Dinner everyone night. would come to movie night. Everyone would yes. come to Saturday movie. Everyone would come to Fun, fun in the Sun. sun. Yeah. And I'd get to see everybody on a different night. Mm -hmm. And I would just, that was like the hub. Mm -hmm. And now it's so hard to try to figure out how to see people when you come into town because you just don't have that place. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. It, that was very odd. But I have to have very time. genuine friends. Like, yes. every time I'm here, I try to see, like, Jimmy Van Patten. Oh, yes. He's a very dear friend of Hef's that I met at the man mansion. And the last couple times I've come to L.A., he comes down to Venice and we'll have lunch. And oh, that's cool. He just got a new house over by Joel and Allison. So he wants me to come check out his new place. So that's funny. What well, Jimmy Van Patten, I saw him a month ago. Okay. Uh, he came to where I'm working at now, right? He came to a party that we did there. Oh, So nice. it's always cool to see... Yeah. Mansion regulars coming into a party and then we just rehash everything. Oh yeah. Allison and Joel just got to hang with them. We were over at the Sunset Marquee. Okay. Um and it, it, and I'm excited we got a big event coming up next Friday mm -hmm. that we're going to be doing here at State okay. Social House. I wish I was here. Because we're trying for that. to re I know I'm you got to so stay. Bummed. I might and still be in town. It's a little bit of taste of what we used to do at the mansion. The decor, okay. the flavor, the sexiness, the vibe. We're going to do karaoke, and hopefully that's a launch off of what we want to do throughout yeah. the year. Yeah. Because it's the year of the rabbit. It is. So we're now claiming it the year of the money. The rogue money. Uh, as it should be. <laughs> I have to bring this up. Oh, gosh. In fact, you mentioned, <laughs> I'm going to sweat. <laughs> you mentioned the family business. Yes. And I started flashbacks. So, Scott, so Amber's family, they... Own a, uh, would I say, uh, a pizza restaurant? It's Italian food, casual Italian, Italian, food, Italian, Italian great food. pizza. But what was so cool is that the, the, the chefs had made some pizzas after one night. The girls would all come in. Like, Jen, you've talked about it on other podcasts where you're going out, you're partying, and next thing you know, you're hitting back to the mansion, you're placing your orders. Jen's obviously getting tater tots. And some would say, you got any pizzas? And then we had some frozen pizzas that they threw in, and Amber's like, oh, no, no. No. No, not no. having it. <laughs> no, not having it. Scott, next day, flown in from Amber's family's restaurant, like 
10 or 12 freaking pizzas. We had to make room in our freezer because now it became the staple. Every playmate wanted these. Yes. It was in rotation. Hef eventually ordered them. Well, whoever, who was the head chef at that time? Uh, um, uh, William Carter. And then we had a sous chef, uh, Dan Vandenberg. I think it was Dan. Dan. He would send an invoice and they would order regularly. And my dad would go to FedEx, dry <laughs> ice, amazing. overnight ship. And so you could order Kim Peasy's pizza at the dining room table at the Playboy Mansion. Flown, flown in from? Flown in from Dallas. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You are listening to Rogue Bunny's Mayhem. Hi, this is Angel Boris, Miss July 1996, and Series 1 Rogue Bunny. I'm inviting you to go rogue with the sexiest women on the blockchain and purchase Series 2 trading cards in packs while supplies last. You can also collect individual cards from Series 1 in our marketplace. Just go to roguebunnies.com, click Buy NFTs, and get out a credit card because no crypto is needed, and start collecting. A lucky few will find a legendary or epic card. Why is that special? Well, because you become an instant VIP with access to gated channels to chat with bunnies in our Discord, plus automatic invites to all our IRL events. So what are you waiting for? Just go to roguebunnies.com. Welcome to the metaverse. Welcome back to our family reunion. I'm Brian Olea. Jennifer Pershing. Scott Ramsey. And we're here with the lovely Amber Campisi. Yes, that giggle is real because we just got another round of freaking <laughs> mimosas. Mimosas and mayhem. I've been for a couple days. <laughs> so, Amber, I was, you know, we were sitting around chatting and just talking about how it, it's surreal. We were part of that. We had so much fun. I mean, look at, look at the couch you're sitting on. I mean, if it could talk. Right? <laughs> okay, I got to ask this. I, I know I wasn't going to run right into it, but we have to because we did this on other shows. Did you ever have fun on this couch? I didn't. Not because on Because it was the, the hidden couch behind the screen. <laughs> it was a perfect place to like sneak away. It was, I, I've heard stories about this couch, though. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I Come was not on, part of it. No, sure? I really wasn't. No? No, that, no. That's really why she wore underwear to sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. because I've heard the stories. <laughs> I needed a barrier. Okay, so let's let's say, is there any place around the mansion that you would say, oh, I had some fun there? <laughs> yeah, probably. I think it was, isn't it the Pet cemetery area? Oh, what? Isn't it like far off? The Pet like, Cemetery is right by the game house. Yeah, on the other side. Yes. But yes. you know, it, but the but the but it's got kind of a secluded feel because you have to yes. walk in, in through oh, that yeah. stand of trees. Yeah, and you're and you're so, from what I hear now, it's unfortunate. I heard they cleared it all open. Uh, See, that's horrible. So wait a second. Wait, wait. Why would you go there? Amber is about to tell us about getting point. <laughs> you're silent at, the, at the mansion, and you're talking about oh, they clear cut it. <laughs> no, no, I know, you're absolutely no. right. Let's go back to when it was beautifully secluded. Yeah, it was so, like so real what was it? So what was it like? Was it after a party? It was during a party. Okay, which party? I love that the champagne's just popping in the background. That was <laughs> perfect. Best so festive. <laughs> um, it was a Halloween party. And okay, the, I'm going to do the background music. The person Boom, chicka, chicka, um, had waka, body waka, paint chicka. on. So, needless Ooh. to say, I was smeared in body Good paint enough. everywhere. Oh. <laughs> what were you dressed as? I was a sexy devil. So I was oh, in a yes, red, you were. red <laughs> vinyl so dress. So what you're saying is you didn't really dress up. You just came to the yeah, party. Yeah, I was just coming as my myself. <laughs> you decided just to show who you are. Yes. I like this. Yes. So, yeah, I think that's the only place in the mansion. So you look back and you go, wow, that really happened. Thank and then you look at today. What's life like for Amber today? I don't know. Not as fun anymore. <laughs> oh, you got to make new fun. Come I on. know. You had um, to have taken some of what we did from the match and brought it into your to your world today. I mean, a little bit. I just, it actually, it's been great working at my family restaurant because everyone wants to hear the stories. Like, who doesn't? Yes. Like, so that's always fun. I get to reminisce and people never, those people like don't get tired of hearing about it. So like all my other friends are like, yeah, hey, yeah, we've heard that a thousand times, but there's always somebody willing to listen. And um, yeah, so retelling those stories and reliving them. And like you were saying, like, especially now since Hef's gone, the mansion's gone. I've actually gone back and watched a lot of the shows. Like I was on Bridget's Beaches and um, oh, Girls yes. Next Door a bunch yes. and Kendra's show. And so, yeah, watching all those back, it's just... Yeah, surreal almost. 
So I definitely went through a phase where I was like, I'm going to rewatch all this. Like, So I got two ideas popped in my head, Scott. You'll like this. All right. We've been talking about trying to figure out spaces to go around the world, right? We're going to bring this. We'll get eventually to the world. Let's just go across, you know, this country right yeah. now. And we've talked about different places. Maybe we go to Chicago. Obviously, we want to go to Atlantic Vegas. Atlantic City. You know, we have to do that. Like fun. Like. So, so, Amber, where's your uh, family restaurant located in? It's in Dallas. Dallas, Texas. I, I, what do you say if we were to go, ask your, ask your family. Oh, yeah. What if we took over the restaurant? I don't need to ask and, the family. And, <laughs> <laughs> I am the family. The, the Rogue Bunny. I am the heiress. Sure. <laughs> then let's yeah. make that happen. We should. Actually, Just like we're going to do at State next Friday. Yeah. I would love, we want to do this theme. And because it's the year of the bunny. I love We're this. doing like Alice in Wonderland theme. Like. And we'll dress the whole place up. I love it. And just have like a crazy party and, you know, Campisi pizza. Perfect. That's mm. actually where I did my signing. That was another cool thing. Yes. Is I asked half if I, all the girls have to do a signing when their issue comes out to promote sales of the magazine. And it's usually at a bookstore or somewhere where you can purchase the, the issues. Well, my dad was like, no, we're doing it at the restaurant. So we had to order X amount of cases of magazines to be available to sell um, at the restaurant. We hired a band. It was a big fun party. Like my aunts were taking drink orders and like the line was wrapped around the building. My aunts were going outside and serving people cocktails while they were waiting in line. The wow. band was playing inside. This is great. It was so much fun. It was like the uh, Teresa Hennessy from the Chicago office was um, in charge of like the signing and everything. Yeah, and she had so much fun. She stayed longer than I stayed and she was like, this was the coolest signing like ever. So we, we made money on pizza and drinks oh. and I was in like my second home, just relaxed and chill and doing my Playboy thing, blending it with my real life, so. And, it, and it's obviously big enough if you have a band in there. Oh yeah, oh, no, we have several dining rooms so we can have our own room for our, our, our mayhem. See? Oh. That's amazing. Yes. I have I have multiple friends in Dallas too, so okay. this need this needs to happen. Mayhem does trip. Dallas. We I love it. Do that. I would have, I would make. Yeah, that instead trip. of Debbie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, now uh, Amber, you're you're here uh, doing autographs today, and you're signing, and you have original copies, correct? I do. Got it. And that's those are no longer being printed. No longer being printed. No. So. So my issues, I, whatever I have, is that's it. That's it, right? Well, All Scott, right. you got you got this book here. Uh, that's right. We have uh, every centerfold from 1953 to 2016, and this, we're going to ask you to sign this for I us. I love it. And would you please? Of course. Oh, look at you doing the signing here. See, this is Live. Where comes in here. Live. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love the fact that you're talking about good. This is where underwear comes in handy while you're signing a nude photo of yourself. <laughs> you might want to draw some underwear on that. Don't. No, I don't. <laughs> No, okay, but it's funny that you mentioned that, Scott. So, Rogue Bunnies, we've mentioned, are NFTs, and they actually take the nude photos and then artistically put in bikinis, yes. clothing, almost like, it's like adult color forms. Yes. So, it's it's dig digital art. We did the nude thing. Right. Right? So, now we want to be, we want to incorporate what we've done into a new generation and be for everyone. Yeah, so, with a more yeah. inclusive yeah. audience. So it's not so not just much adult. Like, yeah, it's not just adult. So we can be a trading card for a 16-year-old, yes. you know what I mean, who just wants to look at pretty ladies. And if people are like, hey, <laughs> I, I, I missed out, or I still miss yeah. the days of, of the mansion, this is a way for, it's an extension. I mean, yep. you ladies have taken back your likeness. Absolutely. You have ownership, and that's why you guys have gone rogue. You are the Rogue Bunny. So, yeah. again, is it roguebunnies.com? Roguebunnies.com. Roguebunnies and that's R-O-G-U-E-B-U-N-N-I-E-S.com. Yep. And you can find out more about the NFTs. Subscribe. Get into the world. And, and it's um, fun. You guys yeah. do all these live events. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you purchase, there's different levels um, of ownership in our NFT project. And it grants you access to our in real life events and poker tournaments we do online and so there's little perks for um, our little supporting smack our project talk channel where like all the bunnies oh just, yes like, we have like a running group discord smack yeah talk. Oh, oh yeah oh, we have the back channel and discord oh, yeah. and if you're in the poker tournament while we're playing poker we're just railing on each other in the back channel okay i got to understand amazing. this you're playing poker okay mm -hmm. yes well okay. you should do one of the tournaments yes. they're so are you fun. good at poker scott 
I'm not good no, at poker no, at all. No, no even if I, you're not. Like, if you bust out of the tournament, there's usually little side rooms that we go to, and then it's just us. But do you then win we're prizes, just money? Talking. What do yeah. you win? You win NFTs. You, you win, win NFTs. Like what, yeah. uh, so w what we do is we get multiple projects to come in. They bring their community from their projects. So that's how we grow our community is we hit these other communities to come into one big poker tournament, and everyone puts up their own prizes, and then we rank them in, you know, top pr prize is this, which is the most valuable, and so on. And if you're like in the top 20, you win. Mm -hmm. And you win wow. an NFT. We and actually had, cool. who was the playmate that won this last poker tournament? Ashley? She didn't win, but she was like, okay. like yeah, she in was... the final five, Ashley Hobbs. Yeah. Ashley Hobbs. Like, oh, I miss the freaking Hobbs, man. I know. It's all the way in freaking Hawaii. We got to get her back out oh, here. Let's go to Hawaii. Lives. Let's oh, go to let's Hawaii. Go. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, I'm oh going to go home and Hobbs. be like, Tom, See, I was so we're blessed, going Scott. on a lot I, of trips. We, we did the show for Playboy Radio. <laughs> you know, I developed the greatest friendships with these ladies. And we talk about, you know, you and I, Jen, we did shows. And, of course, I had my regulars, which is Pilar. And then we have Raquel. My God, I love her to death. Wasn't she supposed to be here? She, she was. Where the heck yeah, is she? She booked, she booked something, she booked something. Oh. I think. Yeah, she and was up I in the it. air, and we were just banking on her coming. So I we were putting positive never, vibes. I still but... haven't met her in person yet. And I'm so what? sad because I talk to her all oh, the time. Really? It's the weirdest thing for me, being, like, the one who's coordinating all the stuff with all the girls, and there's still girls that I haven't met in person yet. I met her in Dallas. She, when her issue came out, she did some of it in Dallas, and um, so, yeah, I attended the event. Just, I don't even think I knew it had Playboy associated with it. I walked in, and I was like, oh, my gosh, hi, bunny sis. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's amazing. Uh, she's, a, she's adorable, and um, I heard she is going to be at the party. But uh, like I was stating is that, you know, it was fun. We all got to like, you know, I had multiple co-hosts. We come in and we're recreating that. So we I are. hope everyone that's listening going, hey, is there going to be more? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, we're allowing you to come in to the freaking crazy world and that is just getting started. that is really the mayhem. Yeah. And and I'm, I'm hoping you enjoy it. If you have like uh, questions or things that you're curious about, maybe there's a, a playmate. Let's find out if she's a rogue bunny. If not, let's get her hooked we're up. Recruiting. Yes. And, uh, yes. Start saying, hey, we want to hear more about this. We want to hear about that. Because we want to give it to you. Absolutely. I mean, that's what we want to do. Absolutely. So we have a segment as we're going to close up, Amber. And it's called Homage to Hef. When the boss passed, there's multiple times that I, I reached out and started going, you know what, but thank you. I have a big signed, uh, you know, from his uh, documentary uh, that Bridget Berman did. You know, Hugh Hefner, Playboy, Activist, Rebel. He signed it the last day that I was there. You know, I look up at it every time, and I think of, like, thank you. So we want to open the mic to you. Imagine the boss is sitting across from you, and if you could say from your heart, what would you want to say to him? I would say thank you for welcoming me into the Playboy family. The family is really what we all are, like, I've always been about that. Like our, our restaurant is a family business, but all of our employees feel like family. And the mansion, same way. Playboy, the Playboy family was the same thing. Like I gained a whole new family throughout all of this. And um, yeah, couldn't be more grateful for that. To you personally, just you, you and Hef, right? What do you think he gave to you? Irreplaceable friendships and experiences that are just one of a kind. Forever family. Forever family. I love it. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I think that's a wrap. I'm Brian Olea. It's Jennifer Pershing. Scott Ramsey. And we're here with the lovely Amber Campisi. Thank you so much for being on. Thank you, guys. Keep tuning in. We have a lot more shows coming. We are Rogue Bunnies Mayhem and The, the Mayhem, Mayhem Continues. continues.